Hello! Hi, you guys. Let me take my hair down. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another flight attendant vlog. We are on reserve this month, and I have not been on reserve in over a year. And if you're new around here, well, first off, my name's Carrie, but I'm a flight attendant for the world's largest airline. That was so dramatic. But the world's largest airline and being on reserve means that we have really No, it means that we're on call. So you can either sit at the airport and be on call for six hours. Is it six hours? I don't know. Or you can be on something called a wrap. This is just for my airline. On a wrap. So for instance, today I was on wrap B and I don't know why I put up a two, but wrap B. And so I've been on call from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And it is 4.30 and I got a call and we're going to Seattle, okay? And I've been doing this thing where I wake up at 4.50 in the morning every morning and lifting the weights. And this morning I happen to wake up at 3.20 just cuz and I didn't go back to bed so I just closed my eyes for 40 minutes and I'm exhausted I've been going to bed around 8 30 and this flight takes off at 8 p.m. and it's a six hour flight and we don't get in until I think 2 a.m. west coast time that would be 5 a.m. east coast time which is where we are in Miami so Lord help me. I have to leave my apartment in an hour and leave my babies. You guys always ask me like what I do when I travel. Like they're good. They have lots of food, lots of water, lots of toys. They have each other. There's Gunner. There he is. Sorry, Gunner. And then in here, Alexa off. We have Rocky Girl. Rockstar. Yeah, she can't be bothered. So thankfully my makeup's already done. I just need to freshen up a little bit. Um, I'm pretty much packed, but I didn't pack very well. And what I mean by that is... So, like, here's the scoop. We... Maybe I'll bring this. We get to Seattle we have 20 hours there which like I don't really feel like doing anything like I haven't really felt like doing anything for a while but like I'm gonna go to the gym I have a few videos to edit some brand deals let me show you what I'm packing it is a chance of snow there and I haven't seen snow yet this year so here we go actually let me bring you down here but I'm bringing a pair of brown leggings. This makes sense in my head when I was picturing it, but now it doesn't. And I have a red sweater to put underneath the hoodie. This is not matching at all. <laughs> okay, well, let me rethink that real quick. I have workout clothes, gym shoes. I'm just kidding, I really haven't packed, I guess. Back to my lunch, but we need to downsize it because I packed for a four day trip. Look at how like organized I am cute um but this is more like a two-day trip so this is my four-day trip lunch box and then up here it's my two-day trip lunch box so let's use those let's downsize oh i meal prepped some white rice chicken all that crap coming off okay great and then in here i made my buffalo chicken dip like the healthy one with some low carb wraps yum and then i'm gonna pack some energy drinks maybe i do want to bring a big cooler nah i'm obsessed with the alani news 
pack a few of those. I'll put that in my bag. Of course, Poppy, Olipop, what's it called, Poppy? Pack one of those. And then I drink these like crazy. Excuse me. I'm also gonna bring a yogurt. Because on these red eyes, or maybe I'll bring this one, that's easier. On these red eyes, which I'm working back to Miami, I eat a lot. And I'm like, I have snacks, these protein bar bars, these little slim treats, some skinny peanut butter cups, the best chomps, and then protein and my blender. That's it. thing to heat up your food on the go. And then I'm going to drink some dumplings real quick. I need to drink an energy drink. Why am I so hungry all of a sudden? I need to go to bed. Like, are you kidding me? Ugh. So I buy these little chopsticks and then I just puncture them. So first the coconut aminos which aren't as like salty as the soy sauce, but they're healthier for you. So I like to go with that first. And then soy sauce. Yum. Raja, nothing too spicy. And then sesame seeds. And voila. Magnifico. We're gonna touch up our makeup, touch up our hair while eating soup dumplings. And you get an energy drink. A little chaotic in here, but that's fine. Um, I don't need to do much touching up with my makeup. I'm just a little oily. So these little triangle poofs are great. All right, we're packed. I don't really remember what I packed, but I feel like it was good. Packed lots of drinks. Gotta stay hydrated. Food, obviously. Shoot, I need to grab my all weather coat. Also, these shoes, I'm obsessed. You need them if you don't have them. Like, I'm just not a light packer. That's just never been me. It will never be me. I don't know how. It always turns to a lot. Wearing like tights today because these planes on these like really late night flights, these red eyes get so cold. And it's just one of those things that you can't avoid. I like heat water bottles up. I do all the things and I'm always freezing. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now. It's 67 degrees Fahrenheit. See, it's even kind of cold here. Expect a low of 67 Passport. degrees. Crew ID, which you don't need to see. Yeah, we're good. And I carry this little backpack around with me. So, all right, let's head out the door. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. When Alexa told me it was cold, did she say it was raining or did I completely miss that part? Oh my gosh. Let's see 
how long of a drive this is gonna be. Don't look at my back seat. I don't wanna hear it. 30 minutes. Let's go, baby. Starting route to four. Would you look at that front parking space? Not my parked job, but the parking space. Oh my gosh, the person's car in front of me, their license plate plate is Aviator, A-V-A-T something, eight something. I'll show you guys when I get out, but it's so cute. Okay, so it's 6.05, my sign-in time is seven, so I'm an hour early. Listen, like, Florida people don't know how to drive, um, and there's weather, so they really don't know how to drive. I mean, Miami. I'm not disrespecting all Florida, just Miami. And so I gave myself ample amount of time, and we're early now. So I'm going to chill in my car for a second, finish my energy drink, try and decide if I should mobile order Starbucks. If you guys are not doing this in an airport, what are you doing? You go on the Starbucks app. Let, let me show you. Oh, I'm feeling a little chatty. You go on the Starbucks app. It's gonna die. You do order. Okay, are we watching order? And then, I don't know why it's not popping up for me. But I do Miami pre-security or gate D10 because that's actually the gate that I'm going out of. Um, order here and you can put in what you want. I'm gonna head in one of the vans, buses just left. I'm gonna go. It's driving itself? What is that? That's safe, like I feel like someone would jump on it. We made it. Barely. Just barely. I am freezing. It is so cold here. Just let me, give me a second. 4 a.m. Miami. Need to unpack my lunch. got in you guys that was such a long flight that flight was seven hours over seven hours long um which is crazy because we could have been to london by now like it's crazy um so we were weight restricted and then with it being over seven hours in our contract, uh, manual, whatever, if that's the case, and like you're supposed to have a crew rest and a crew rest area, and if there's no bunks, then you need seats for the crew rest, and oh my gosh, it was crazy. I've never done a domestic flight that was that long. Even the captain said that he's never done a flight that long on that plane, and we were on the 321, Airbus 321. I don't remember the configuration. I'm gonna take a hot shower and I'm gonna go to sleep for eight full hours. There's no in between. Freezing cold for sleep, so hot when I wake up. But good morning! Stunning. You can kind of see the mountains over there. Cute. There's no one out. I looked on my phone this morning and I can see Tennessee and Dallas got some weather. Our plane tonight is coming from Dallas. All my flight attendant friends on Instagram are posting if they're trying to get to Dallas. Like my best friend Mallory was on a three day trip 
It is now day six that she's stranded in Omaha, Nebraska, because she cannot get out. She's based in Dallas. My friend Cheyenne is supposed to be going through Dallas. She is stuck. Everyone is stuck. Our plane is coming from Dallas. What are the chances you think that we are going to be going home? Because if our plane can't make it out of Dallas, all a domino effect. Our plane, where it's ever it's coming from prior, if it can't make it into Dallas, then it can't get to Dallas to bring it to us. Okay, it's not like we have one plane per flight every day. No, this baby is tracking around and, whew, I didn't pack for this climate. I don't know. You saw I had the turtleneck and the sweatshirt out. Took both of them out. Put in a flannel without even an undershirt. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm like someone who I'm like, you know, I'm from Chicago. It's fine. Like, I can. It's fine. It's not even cold. Okay, mm -hmm. Carrie. Um, I was like, I'm not leaving this hotel. I'm just not doing it. I don't need to go see the first Starbucks. I don't give a shit. I don't need to go to Pike's Place. Two degrees out. Hi. Can you measure to see what size rug I should order for the living room? There's a measuring tape in the second drawer by the stove. I don't need a measuring tape on my iPhone. You can use a measuring tape on your iPhone? Yeah. Don't say it like I'm dumb and like, oh yeah, everyone knows. How do you measure it on your iPhone if it's, you know what? Pen and paper, measuring tapes. I want the old ways. The, the camera you got me for Christmas. Ching! Picture comes right out. Great. All right. All you techie kids. I'm vlogging. The irony of that area is. That I'm vlogging. Right. That you're vlogging. Vlogging saying that you want old school camera. All you techie kids. This generation. And then you're going to make a vlog about it, load it up onto YouTube. <laughs> okay. This is all I have for a long sleeve. The heat to 77. This will do. I don't really care long as I'm warm. I think it should be a necessity if you live in a cold climate such as Seattle that each hotel needs a hot tub, a sauna, a steam room. I don't know. Everything. And I called down to see where the microwave is because I'm just like famished this morning. I don't know what my deal is. I had that protein bar. I'm going to save this to drink on the plane. But... I had one of my little chopsticks and I'm still hungry. I'm gonna make one of these. I love these so much. Um, I'm now like a Costco girly because I'm 30. You know, it's just one of those exciting new ventures. For me. They're 190 calories and it's not a bun. It's egg, sausage, cheese, egg, turkey sausage. So, it's very good. Instead of explaining, why don't I just freaking show you? So it's like this, which you could easily make at home. Um, I just haven't taken the time out to do that. I called down to see where the microwave is. She's like, we don't have one for public use. Let me send you one. Say no more. That's literally what I would have wanted all along. And then I turned on the TV and guess what is on? Harry Potter. So this is a good day. This is a very good day. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is 2.30 and I have done nothing. Well, that's not true. I haven't gone to the gym, which kind of feels like nothing. This, I'm, this, I look ridiculous. Uh, my plan was to be in bed by now because our van time is 8.30 and it's, what did I say, 2.30 right now? Two something? And so I wanna at least get some sleep, but then I just had an energy drink. This is my second one because I just couldn't get moving. 
I sh probably should have just chilled, but I want to use this time to get things done. I already tied that shoe. All right, we just got back from the gym. It is 3.10. I made my protein shake and my, why can't I think? The other supplement, I, creatine. Um, we just did some light arms. Yeah, I feel good about it. I didn't do any cardio, um, but we'll be moving around a lot tonight. So, 3 o'clock, 8.30 van, so I'm probably going to wake up around 7.30. I've been keeping an eye on the plane coming in that we're taking, and they have not taken off yet, and their gate has changed three times in the last hour, which usually indicates, like, an aircraft swap, but maybe not in this case. What did I tell you guys? Our flight coming in from Dallas is now delayed an hour. I knew this was gonna happen. I was prepared. And we're in Seattle and the airline I work for does not have a base here. So the likelihood that we could just get another plane is slim. Um, so let's see what's about to happen. We are all set and ready. I just did some super light makeup. And we're ready to go. So, I barely slept, which is fine. But also, we were delayed again. We were delayed like two more times. So now, it is 1040 right now. Our van time was originally two hours ago. More than two hours ago. It's just, it's craziness. Um, But it looks like our flight is going to take off, so that's good. We'll land in Miami now around 9. And I need to get my booty downstairs. Laser. All right, you guys, so that is it for this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed the trip back with me on reserve. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I love you. Bye-bye.